um, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, set up a, um, a time lapse for um, a worm bin in a special container with a see-through wall and um, <clears throat> and then set up a, a rather long, maybe month-long time lapse to see what happens. A couple examples that I've seen out there on YouTube um, do a nice job layering the materials so that as the worms do their thing, you can really see that material get all jumbled up and disrupted as they do their thing over time. <clears throat> So my idea was to try to copy that to a certain point. So um, let me introduce you to my latest project here. This is the um, this is the the rig that I set up, where um, inside of this narrow slot in this opening, I'm going to set up a layered worm bin, which is only an inch and a half or two inches thick, and Hopefully that limited amount of volume will force a lot of the worms to um, be visible here on this side of the, the plastic as I'm shooting. And the camera will sit here and there will be some sort of gentle form of light to not scare the worms away from the glass. But since I'm about to start putting it together, I just wanted to quickly introduce the different types of materials I was hoping to use. This is going to be like a seven layer cake because there's all kinds of um, all kinds of stuff here but the main idea was that it alternates between light colors to dark colors back and forth. See, this is um, naturally it's chopped up cardboard a little bit smaller than you might usually see because it's going to go into the uh, fairly small size bin. Uh, the next layer here is um, supposed to be a light light color although it's not so light it's just um it's just a little shredded newspaper this is one of the pieces of newspaper that was on top of the bin that I had harvested and the newspaper was pretty much done but I figured I'd try to reuse it the next layer is a dark layer here this is um it's compost that's out of my garden compost pile it's just the natural decomposition of um kitchen scraps and garden waste. So a nice dark in color. This light material here is just a collection of different um, kitchen scraps that went into a blender and got chopped up and it's uh, it's currently frozen. Um, as you might know, freezing food that's going to be given to the worms um, is beneficial. Light color and then um, on to another, the next dark color. This is also compost except this is um, this is the vermicompost that I harvested from the previous bin that I um, took the bit took the worms from previously. So this stuff will go in as a uh, a dark layer. And finally, the last layer that I like I usually like to sprinkle crushed leaves on top. Um, so those are the layers I'm going to be introducing and um, the tools that I've set up here. A little poker. To help the material through if it should get stuck i create a little funnel here and that's so what i'm going to get to work on next is laying in the um the materials and hopefully we'll come up with a nice uh stack stack like a cake with light and dark materials in between and since the um yeah since this was kind of open on the bottom i, I did take a, a piece of clear plastic material and i punctured it to allow any moisture to escape um, and any moisture that wants to escape could also get around the side of that as well. So yeah, you can see this is all just built out of um, salvaged materials. Tape is holding this together. The bent, This filing cabinet had broken and I'm giving it one last chance to be put into service. So let's get going. Let's start putting this thing together. All right. Here we go. And... Um, get started. So I'm going to start using my funnel right off the bat. So the I can't see from here how I'm doing, so I'll have to take a glance, walk around occasionally and check it out. Okay. Layer number one is complete. Layer number two is going to be some coconut core. Okay. 
from the side. That's it. Took a little bit of time, but I think it turned out pretty good. It's got that nice layered appearance. It's got all kinds of stuff that the worms like. I'm going to do what I did with one of my other worm bins, which is just to let this settle on its own for a few days. And then, um, and then I'll be setting up a spot for the time lapse. To so for now, that's it. The next thing to follow is going to be the, the beginning of the, the time lapse itself. So stay tuned and more to come. Thanks for watching.